Good evening and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. I am DM Bloodworth and as you can see by the graphics, uh, today's uh, prompt for day 13 is the word rest. So uh, as you know, if you've been following my channel now uh, for the last couple days, I've been trying to get caught up to uh, day 14 for RPG a day 2020. I'm just about there. So uh, hopefully I can get there, uh, you know, perhaps tonight or tomorrow I'll do two of these videos and I'll be caught up with days 14 and 15 and be on track. Uh, so without further ado, let's go on to today's prompt, rest. There are, you know, there's a number of ways that resting is done in, uh, you know, in different game systems. We're not really talking about, or at least I'm not going to be talking about that full, you know, eight hour span of rest because virtually every game does the same thing uh, with, with an eight hours of, of sleep and, and true rest where characters will replenish their spells or they will have some natural healing that will definitely take place. They will wake up the next morning, um, or at least after the eight hours of of true rest, they will, uh, you know, they'll their fatigue will be gone and their stamina will be back to, up to normal, or whatever the game mechanics actually build into that full length of time of you know true rest or, or sleep. What I want to talk about is using rest as a tool for both the players and for the dungeon master to say, you know, hey, you've been climbing up this cliff face and you finally hit a, a small ledge that, um, that you don't have to worry about falling off of. You don't have to, like, it, it's wide enough that you could take a little breather. And even though that might not restore some of their um, some of their hit points or, you know, they're not going to recover a spell or or possibly not even any stamina or, you know, relieve any fatigue, um, although that that might be a good idea to do a little bit of that. It's really just meant to give the players a pause in the action so that they can, you know, talk to one another and just look around. Uh, and see their environment, you know, possibly in a, a different way. And uh, it allows the the DM to do the same, it, you know, to describe, hey, you've been climbing up this mountain, you're taking this brief rest, and you've noticed something off in the distance while you're in this more relaxed mode uh, before you decide to move on. Maybe off in the distance, they're going to see a different uh, ascension point that might be easier than the one they're currently on. And so that rest served a purpose, if not a mechanical purpose, it served a purpose in, um, in, in just pausing the action, pausing the, you know, the feeling that, oh, we have to keep on rolling our dice and moving forward and, and you know, climbing up to the summit of this mountain. You know, rest also, uh, when you're using it the way that I'm describing, I think it makes it more realistic for the players. I mean, you know, bottom line, you know, I want to know if I'm playing my character, hey, I, you know, I need to take a leak. You know, I, I need to sit down and, and take a, you know, a drink of water. Or I, I need to have a small bite to eat. It's been four hours since we've had any kind of a pause while we're on this long journey, or we just fought three consecutive, you know, fights, you know, with, uh, with goblins. And now, you know, before we go into the next room or down the next corridor and everything, let's take a little breather. Let's, let's assess where we're all at. Maybe we can talk and, and, and say, hey, you know what, if we hit something in the next room, maybe this is how we want to approach it. it. It allows the players to talk to each other, you know, and have their characters um, just reassess where they're at or to develop a plan 
uh, that might not, you know might be work might work better than what they have been doing uh, so far if they have been struggling along the way, and and so it's a natural pause. Um, it's a pause that will have meaning in what they're you know what they're experiencing you know as as player characters. So resting is important even if it doesn't have a mechanical function because I think it, it helps set the, the tone of an adventure. It helps make it a little bit more realistic that they're obviously they're going to stop and take a little breather. And it also puts the players in the mindset, hey, you know what, there's, let's think how things have been going along and maybe what we can do you know, differently if it hasn't been going along well. So that's my take on the word rest. And, uh, you know, hey, if you, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments about it, if there's some way that you use resting, you know, differently than what I've just described, please leave a comment in there and let me know how you use resting in, uh, in your game sessions. Uh, so once again, thanks for joining. I look forward to seeing you on a gaming screen sometime soon. And you will have a great weekend coming up. Take care.